What's going on world? It's your girl Emmy here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bedroom and welcome back to another episode of me. In this video, we're going to be talking about your menstrual cycle and how that connects to feminine energy and just the power of it. So before I go any further, you know what to do. You're going to hit that like button. You're going to hit that subscribe button because it just helps me out a lot. And it lets me know that you like me and it lets me know that you want to see me make more content, which is a great segue because I do have a question for you. What content do you want to see me make besides astrology content? Because I want to branch out. So just let me know down below if there's any videos or topics that you would like to see me talk about. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what a menstrual cycle is, is you're shedding an egg each month, right? Every 28 days. So that process of shedding an egg is an opportunity of transformation, right? It's an opportunity of releasing. Have you noticed that on months that you are more stressed or you're eating bad, you're consuming more alcohol, you know, your mental health isn't as on point, that your periods tend to be longer or heavier or more painful and versus months where you're a bit calmer, um, eating clean, exercising more, where your period's a bit more lighter or less painful, comes and does its thing and then leaves. So there's an element of shedding and releasing that comes with your periods. So what your period does is it kind of takes your overall, of course, there it's, you know, just the eggs are doing its thing and there's that scientifical aspect of it. But at the same time, your womb is a source of intuition and it's a energy point, you know, just like your third eye, just like your heart. The sacral chakra is very powerful. Your womb energy is very powerful. Whatever you experience during that 28 day cycle, there is a releasing and a shedding that comes done. Your period is giving you an opportunity to take it easy. You know, when you're on your period, you're a lot more irritable, you're a lot more sensitive. You know, this isn't really the time to be around a bunch of people to be consuming alcohol. Your periods are a time to really rest and reset. So everything that you experience during that last 28 day cycle will come out because your womb is an energy center, right? It, it's a brain, just like how your gut is, your, your womb is as well. So it's literally telling you like, these are the areas that no longer serve us. These are the areas that have caused us stress, you know, and, and releasing it and transmuting that energy on a physical and spiritual level. I'm sure you've heard how, you know, tracking your period with the moon and how the menstrual cycle has been compared to the moon cycle. Well, when you think about a new moon, a new moon is all about setting intention. Once it goes back, it's a full 28 day cycle, correct? A new moon is all about setting intention where a full moon is all about releasing. It's that time period of reflection. It's that time period of really reevaluating and resetting what you want moving forward. That same principle and idea of a full moon should be apply to your periods and when it comes to tracking your periods and and really paying attention to you know your periods are going to change every menstrual cycle isn't going to be on a full moon a new moon a waning moon a waxing crescent it's going to change so really paying attention to where it lands and what that phase of the moon represents i find that to be very powerful the moon has always been associated with feminine energy it's always been associated with you know the subconscious what you can't see the the metaphysical world it's been associated with intuition our needs emotion feminine needs even so just like how tracking the phase of the moon can help you reach your full potential or maximize your full potential and help you really understand where you're at and what is needed to move forward your menstrual cycle can do this as well and this process can also be applied to your menstrual cycle as well and i I've been really bad at this lately also my periods have been very irregular also because i've been very stressed with just things in my world which has been affecting my periods which is another way that like you know my periods have been off and it wasn't really until i, I think i've always had kind of irregular periods but i've been really good like this whole year of having them pretty regular and the last few months they've been a little irregular and that's how i know like okay like my mental health my spiritual alignment is off and it took my period being irregular to notice that for me. But getting yourself synced up to the moon, really figuring out what phase of the moon your period start in and following till when it ends, and really just reflecting on or journaling even on what you experienced in the last 28 days. What emotions did you experience? How did you feel during the last 28 days? What were you consuming through social media, through your diet, through gossip, through food, all the areas of consumption? What 
what triggers did you experience during that 28 day cycle what what went well for you what didn't go well for you what astrological transits are you experiencing during this moon cycle where is this new or full moon in your birth chart right like what sign is it in you know right now the moon is in sagittarius so if you're if you're experiencing anything emotionally checking in on your birth chart and seeing where Sagitt what sagittarius rules in your chart and and kind of using that to guide yourself in in, in self-reflection has anything in the past 28 days triggered your inner child okay your womb was also connected to, connected to your mother as well as your inner child so maybe something could have came up in those areas or maybe you've you've been suppressing emotions around your inner child or your mother relationship with your mother even and which also brings element of shadow work and and tapping into the the dark side of the moon which is you know that dark feminine energy or even what is that called lilith in astrology the black moon lilith yeah lilith so maybe even taking a look at your lilith and using that as a way to tap into some sort of uh, realize self-realization through self-reflection to help you figure out you know what areas are you truly avoiding pmsing is also the increase of sensitivity due to your heightened intuition you know your intuition is heightened during your period and maybe you're one that's not used to picking up everyone's um, energy and maybe this is the time of the month that you always find yourself a bit more sensitive or maybe vice versa or your period can also help you get connected to your femininity the sensitivity increases and it helps you figure out what you need to let go of maybe paying attention to your dream you're definitely a lot more tapped into your subconscious during this time of the month so really just meditating more establishing some sort of grounding rituals and not only does your period help you reflect or re-bring up so like think of your period as a brain like i've been saying right so subconscious is communicating to you with you a lot easier because of this increased sensitivity because of this increase in intuition if you choose to listen to it and if you do choose to partake in a healthier diet during this time and do things that help you tap into that voice versus suppressing it you know like medication suppress your ability to connect with that voice drinking alcohol um consuming meat and dairy not getting enough sleep all those things suppress your ability to really listen to that voice but if you do choose to listen to that voice a lot of traumas will come up whatever that period wants to show you it could be lessons from that 28 day cycle it could even be things from 10 years ago five years ago three years ago that you haven't released like i said your womb is connected to your mother so you know the umbilical cord right when you come out you're connected that's your umbilical cord your belly button where your sacral chakra lies where your womb lies is connected to your mother so there could even be an element of generational traumas that come to the surface during this time it could even be childhood dramas like i said your womb is connected to your sense of your inner child so there could be messages for you that are trying to come up during this time um, which is why journaling is so great if you're not a fan of writing i also like to send myself voice notes or just walk down the street and you know have my voice note thing on and just talk to myself that way but these emotions are meant to be released think about a cup when it gets overflown right it eventually will spill over if you don't if you don't address these traumas, if you're not intentionally trying to tap in with yourself, if you're not intentionally trying to heal, basically, really is what it is. Different things, cycles have a way of repeating itself. What is a period? It's a cycle, right? Your menstrual cycle, right? Your period cycle. So there's a way for things to continue to come back. What's the, what's the saying that you don't, you don't learn a lesson until you don't fully learn a lesson until you fully learn a lesson or whatever so like the same situation you'll find yourself in over and over it could be with a job it could be in relationships it could be in friendships until you really sit there and figure out what is it that i am doing what is it that attracts me vibrationally to this outcome right these emotions these traumas these past experiences are meant to be released and tapping into your period is very magical you know in the west we're taught that periods are a disgusting thing the color the this the odor the the everything about it right like telling us to to stick 
cottons that are full of chemical up us and you don't get me wrong I, I wear tampons too but there's a lot of things that toxic to us as well right just like how we know that the food industry or um, that's a whole separate conversation but you know we undermine our power you know everybody knows that women are very powerful and your periods is a proof of that and i really encourage you to really tap in with your menstrual cycle and really see it as something that is your friend and that is trying to show you something you know especially on those months where your periods are heavier and more painful you know what what is the reason what is it what i've been consuming have i not been honoring my my vessel my body is it that i'm in a sexual relationship that harms me more than helps me grow as a person or even makes me feel safe you know your womb also craves safety it's right after you know your you have your root chakra and then your sacral chakra right so having that sense of stability you can't you can't heal your sacral chakra if you don't feel stable in, in the world your sacral chakra is that that's that sense of creativity that sense of feminine energy and it, and it does have a big element of relationships i know i just kind of mentioned it but releasing old relationships releasing old uh, patterns and and cycles right any preconceived beliefs that you may have from past relationships right maybe you might have been cheated on right in high school okay and now it really affects the way that you navigate dating thinking that everyone is going to cheat on you well guess what's going to happen if you go into new situations holding on to old beliefs you're going to continue that cycle of getting that outcome of people and attracting people who are cheaters because you're telling the universe hey i think all i all i can attract is, is those who are going to cheat on me and i need to i need to you know control them or co constantly be verbal about this fear to them and then guess what happens you manifest that in your reality you know so re it really can help you um, tapping into that or even just you know meditating with your womb and just asking it you know what what is it that you want to show me what traumas and experiences am i still holding on to that need to be released you know and if you're on if you get your period during a full moon like definitely do all of this during a full moon because that is just like the ultimate energy of releasing that is like there's been a build-up and it's time to really um, dig deep and it doesn't even necessarily have to be a buildup of the last 28 days or whatever the last time you had a full moon period but it could also just be it's time it's time to let these old beliefs go it's time to let these old relationships go like i understand the idea of you know creating soul ties and sexual partners exchanging energy i definitely believe in exchanging energy with sexual partners but i don't necessarily feel like every relation sexual relationship has to be a soul tie but i do think that there are certain mirroring that can be that can be brought onto you or just certain energy exchanges that can be negative that can be brought onto you during sexual activities so it's really important to release old relationships through your sacral chakra through your womb and releasing those previous traumas and experiences that you may subconsciously still be holding on to your period is very spiritual what sexual traumas are you holding on to are you holding on to any abuse from the past are you holding on to any traumatic events from the past are you holding on to anything that you may have experienced in the past that still hinders you today or hinders you in the bedroom now or hinders your relationships now even your platonic relationships even the way that you may see that gender that may have caused some sort of sexual attack on you have you fully released it? have you really sat there connected with your inner child and had that conversation that i felt helpless in this moment that there was no one there for me in that moment but that doesn't have to be the reality moving forward you deserve and and will attract those that bring you peace that bring you safety those that want to protect you and take care of you that can still be your reality once you're able to to heal and move away from that basically what i'm trying to get at is i think even though i kind of mentioned that my periods have been off like this last few months you know i used to get really bad periods when i was a kid like 10 day long periods very irregular it was very painful and there was a lot of trauma that i just of course i was young but I didn't realize how much trauma I was ignoring and I didn't, I wasn't facing. It wasn't until I started my spiritual journey, journey. it wasn't until I started doing different fasts and really being mindful of how I treat my body, what I put into my body, that I noticed my periods being a lot more regular, a lot lighter, a lot shorter, a lot less painful, like 
I'm talking about to the point where I don't even need to wear a tampon or a pad, just a, just a tiny liner. Like periods don't have to be painful, you know, but to have healthy periods, you have to heal to have healthy periods. You have to do the work. You have to face your traumas. You have to face your shadow self. You have to tap into your inner child. You have to tap into the dark part of your sacral chakra and any traumatic memories that it might be holding on to. You know, to sit with the pain and to ask yourself in meditation, you know, what what is this pain teaching me? What did this experience teach me? Belief that I create because of this experience and how can I prevent that from continuing? How can I shift the narrative? How can I let my child self know that she or they or he is safe now. How do I do that for myself? What does that look like for me? What are the steps that I can take? What are the things that I can incorporate in my day-to-day -day life that would make little Emmy feel safe again? What do I need to release? And having this open conversation and to not feel you know, awkward about it. Maybe it may even help to look in the mirror and have this conversation looking at yourself in your eyes. Maybe it might even help to have a mirror fixing your coochie, okay? And really talking to your coochie this way, like having that, doing this process, your intuition will speak to you. Maybe not the first time, but the more that you build this practice and this routine, the easier and clearer it will be to hear that voice and to listen to your room, I promise that. You know, memories will come up, exes will come up, certain situations will come up, new relationships that will be teaching you what cycle needs to be broken will come up. All the emotions that have been suppressed from childhood and even that your mother experienced, because like I said, that generational trauma gets gets put onto you, especially as, especially as birthing bodies, that our relationship with our mothers, that generational trauma that, that she experienced gets passed onto you from, from birth. That nine months when she had you in your belly like that nine months of traumas or however if your mother wasn't someone that was mentally stable or whatever situation your mother might have been in that impacted her negatively especially during those nine months will be put onto you right because that's that's the environment that was created for you while you were in that womb i remember going through that phase of emotions and, and detoxing that was very crazy to feel so attached to her experiences like they were my experiences but at the same time her experiences are my experiences because i am her you know yeah those emotions that are sitting in your womb will come up and and the emotions around your relationship with your mother will come up and and you know what does that relationship look like and and what do you want that relationship to look like and how can you make that relationship look the way that you want it to look like if you want to get a better idea of this from an astrology perspective i definitely recommend um, taking a look at what your moon is in what house it's in if there's anything transiting it and really just researching it and reading what that represents what that means especially the transits especially if there's anything aspecting it paying attention to the house it's in and also taking a look at your your lilith placement your dark moon placement if anything is aspecting that as well lilith could be aspecting your moon for all i know but this will really help you with just understanding yourself it'll also help you see how to nurture yourself as well but i think that's everything that i have in this video i hope it was helpful i feel like my energy got kind of low I, I don't really know why but um this is heavy stuff i hope it resonated with you though please let me know down below anything that may have came up for you while you were while you were watching this video or anything you feel like i might have missed I really appreciate your comments and I'll see you in my next video. I appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.